Hello and welcome back. So at this point, everything is all looking good. Everything is leveled out. Uh, you need to make sure that everything is leveled before you do a herringbone. Um, it's a small format tile and you wanna make sure the floor is true and true throughout. throughout. Um, so what I'm doing right now is there's an opening to my left there going into the living area. Uh, this is a mud room with a dog shower. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm marking my tiles because I'm gonna wanna have a full, uh, all the way through that uh, opening and all the way along that uh, wall. So you have to take your time with this and just make your cuts. And we're gonna go with a cut uh, right at the entrance, just a small one, and the same cut on the back wall. There is going to be a lot of cabinetry in here, so um, we'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to going back and taking some snapshots when everything is all complete with the cabinets. So I'm just uh, making some cuts. I've actually uh, laid some out for you. This is just dry fit, and we'll see where my first uh, line is going to be. Remember, we always do... Uh, if you follow my channel, we always do a dummy line and see how out of square this room is. I got a little lucky with this room, so. Okay, there's my, my cut. So we're gonna go against that opening. Uh, we're gonna use a black tile ledge and we are gonna have to tilt that up about a quarter inch with uh, a wood threshold. So it that's not too bad. That's actually really good especially when you're leveling. So I'm just gonna put my square there. And we're gonna do the same thing on that side. It can get a little confusing with herring bones, but once you do it, uh, the dry layout, uh, you start to pick up a lot of steam and, and you start flying. Now there is a lot of cutting around the walls and everything, so that, that takes a lot of time, but uh, if you're doing a herringbone, all your off cuts, save them. So see what I'm doing? I'm This is a three, uh, a two and a half or three inch wide uh, uh, tile. So we're just gauging that to make a cut. Just use a, a dry tile. Just so we can get that proper angle. This is gonna be a long one, guys, so just uh, be patient, okay? Okay, there we go. There we go, just to show you an example there. So, okay. See how confused I'm getting right now? <laughs> so, like I said, that's why you just uh, take your time. Okay. okay, that'll be right next there. There we go. If I were you, I would leave that gap. You see that uh, triangle where the cement is? Um, that's what I'm talking about, uh, saving all your cuts. Um, at the end, you're gonna fill, use a lot of those cuts to fill in that gap. So the best way is to lay, uh, when you start, just keep uh, laying until the end and then start adding all those cuts. Uh, at the end there It actually takes like uh, a Full day Just to put in all those cuts it uh, Takes some time to do that 
Always cuts always take the longest, you know. Laying doesn't take long, but there we go. Okay, so let's just take it all out and make sure. And I, I hope you come back from my time lapse uh, and see how everything goes. This room was uh, pretty square, like I said before. It wasn't too bad, except for when you get into the powder room, there was uh, a stretch of six feet from one uh, end of the, the corner wall to the next. It's it's out like uh, more than three quarters of an inch, uh, probably about a, an inch and a quarter, um, that wall. It has nothing to do with me. It's just that back wall. And that back wall is where the garage, on the other side is the garage area. So, just make sure you use your spacers when you're gazing at me. There's my uh, camera. Okay, that's better. So this is dry, and like I said, and there's the opening, and we're gonna run my tiles from that corner all the way down to that wood wall and that opening right there. We're gonna have it all equal through and through. Um, it's always best to uh, Cement your first course in and take your time with that. The next day is when you should start, when everything is uh, hard, when it's not fresh. When it's fresh like that, it you might hit and then uh, dis disrupt it and you can get out of alignment. So just do your first course, come back the next day, and it will take you a while to do your first course. And uh, just make sure you always follow that line. So if you watch my videos, you remember I always do a dummy line just to see how square the room is. And I already know the answer. So it's not too bad, it's pretty good. So I'm just getting ready to clean off a little bit of cement there so I could put my uh, chalk line hook in there. Yeah, always remember too, when you install that warm wire, you always stay about three inches away from the hardwood. Um, they always recommend that. And also, I forgot to tell you, your toilet flange, you always have to stay away uh, eight inches from your toilet flange when you're installing warm wire. It's very important or else you can melt that gasket for the toilet flange and uh, uh, you'll have a leak. So always stay eight inches away. So I'm just chalking a little bit. So I can see a little bit better down the line. I'm going to go through the powder room uh, with that chalk line, by the way. So, and I'm going to have to level in there later on. It's just a little awkward. I want to install my this area in herringbone first and then see how off I will be in the uh, powder room. It's uh, about an inch in that powder room that I have to, I'm sorry, I apologize. It's about, uh, five eighths off in that powder room. So, if you were to lay your herringbone without leveling and you hit that crown, your herringbone will te teeter totter like, uh, and you, you're gonna have to start leveling and you don't wanna do that. Try and level small format tiles like that as you go along, it's just, it's, it's impossible, you get a lot of cement out of your joints, especially when you're working with black uh, format tiles. Uh, black is, uh, it uh, sticks a lot. I ha you should always wash your floor the next day too, uh, each course that you lay, or when you so that way the cement is a little bit uh, loose still, but uh, you can walk on it. Okay, so I put my square right against the tip of that herringbone on the outside. And I'm gonna get my square line. And you do, because I already have my chalk line already chalked out. So I'm just gonna turn my square around and put it right on that line, my chalk line and the tip of that uh, other line. And then I'm gonna chalk it, as you'll see coming up soon. A 
I'm a little slow. I've uh, I've worked about uh, a month straight. Um, I get a lot of uh, people that call me up to do. If you see, I do a lot of difficult uh, format tiles. So uh, if it's a very fancy house, um, some of the designers from the past that I work with, and some people that I know, like sales reps, they'll they'll call and see if I can help them out. And honestly, I turned this job down, but. They were hounding me because uh, there has been some other uh, issues from other installers um, where the tiles were just uh, the corners and everything were tilt up too much and stuff like that. But uh, I mean, I specialize in a lot of the difficult stuff. So this is where brick laying is very handy. So, uh, but you know, you can do it yourself you you just gotta make sure that floor is leveled um, if you get it leveled professionally that's always good too but if you have everything leveled you're you're laughing so I'm just making sure make sure that dummy line oh thank God I said thank God this room is squared <laughs> so make sure your dummy line put your table again uh, all the way down that wall to make sure that chalk line is going to be good. So you just want to make sure everything is going to be square. As you can see, I always double check everything. So now I'm just uh, making sure I'm going to use my square from tip to tip and I'm going to use my chalk line just sharpen my, my pencils black is a very hard uh, tile um, to mark uh, markers um, uh, line line uh, pencils it just when sometimes when you use your wet saw nothing sticks and you lose that line so sometimes what I do is uh, I use a lot of my cutter. I have uh, that old cutter. It's been with me for a long time and it's a great color cutter. Okay, so that from that dummy line to that tip of those herring bones, I'm gonna be square. So I'm just gonna take a few out so I can run my chalk line and make sure that you just follow those lines. It's very crucial. Remember, your fourth, first course is always the uh, toughest. So. I will post uh, a time lapse video. Um, and you'll see how I uh, move along there. Sometimes I had to cut my video short because uh, it's March break and kids are off and... and uh, I don't want to, uh, it's a little loud in there. So I wish I was a kid again. Uh, it seems like these kids get a lot of uh, breaks, you know. I don't ever remember being in school or having that many breaks, but God bless them. Just making sure, check it from one line to the next so that I'm gonna be okay before I chalk that line. Remember from that dummy line, put the same dimension all the way to the other end of the dummy line and then strike your line. Okay. And just mark that line there your mark just gonna see how level my floor is In some areas I had to cheat a little bit 
You see that wooden, uh, the half inch ply over there? That's gonna be a cabinet there. And this wall to my left is gonna be a cabinet there. And on the other side, there's gonna be a corner cabinet. And by the doggy shower, there's gonna be another cabinet. So there's a lot of cabinets in this mud room. I told the owner, he says, why so many cabinets? You're hiding all my herringbone. What's the sense of doing a herringbone? So, <laughs> but they loved it and they were really happy at the end. Okay, so I'm just setting up my uh, camera so you can see I'm gonna chalk on the other side now, along that wall. See, remember to that left, where you see that uh, drain flange, there's gonna be a doggy shower there. So I always install my floor tiles first and do showers last. That way, you know, when you're all done and grouted, uh, they'll cover the floor and you can have uh, people go in there and work. You kind of don't want to slow down production, you know what I mean? They still have to do some drywall work in there and this is actually the only time I can get in there because I've, like I said, I've, I've got so much on my plate right now. So I'm just going to use that uh, pail with a little bit of water in there to hold my chalk line down. You've seen my other videos. You can use tiles, but I don't have big format tiles to put weight on my chalk line, so I, I just use a, a pail with a little bit of water in there. I can be pretty annoying, eh? Just talking away. soon just let you know sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying <laughs> like I said I'm pretty uh, pretty beat up right now you know I haven't been on vacation like I used to travel all over Canada, United States and bricklaying and stuff like that. And I would go to Jamaica for vacations in Cuba. And, and uh, I've been just about everywhere. And it's been about, I would say about 18 years since I had a vacation. And uh, I think sometimes, you know, I have a problem of not saying no. And I'm gonna have to start saying no, just because I, I need to get a little bit more healthier. Um, I've dropped quite a bit of weight and I've always been that type of person. I mean, I get a lot of exercise working, but uh, the difference between working and being in the gym, there we go, we have the th thumbs up. Between working and going to the gym is two different things, you know, and. Thankfully, my back and my knees at my age are still good. But uh, going to the gym and working out different parts of your body, it's always good. So I like to put my 15 pounds back on. And uh, yeah, that's my savvy story and I'm sticking to it. So hopefully in a month or two, you'll start seeing me grow again. Put some uh, nice muscle on my my arms there again and my legs. Right now I got chicken legs, <laughs> so, uh, but, but uh, yeah, I need uh, a good exercise again. I've always been a fanatic. So it's been, uh, it's been about a year and a half since I've been to the gym. Okay.
Okay, guys, everything's looking good now. So, like I said, just make sure you check everything. Just want to make sure I'm checking again because my first course it's very crucial very crucial have to reach straight that line because I veered off my line of, and that's what I'm always talking about um, you always check all the time so we'll strike that line again I was off my uh, square a little bit there Even I make mistakes. So nobody's perfect. But that's why you always keep checking and before you start. If you look to your left where that doggy shower is, uh, if you're wondering how I uh, level the floor is, I cut uh, one inch bands from the Deidre and I glue it down and I put my level on it and uh, go across on that crown and onto that Deidre uh, and then put your, get the level and then put your level across that Deidre and just push down until your level is uh, is uh, leveled. So, okay. anyways, I'm checking right here against that wall. That back corner there where it returns, oh my God, it was so off. Okay, there we go, thumbs up. We're ready to get going. I hope you come back, guys, for the for the time lapse. It's, uh, it's really interesting. And herring bones are beautiful, but they are a very difficult thing to do. Uh, you don't want to lose the uh, the joint size. Like a, a, you want to keep everything true. Anyways, thank you very much. Bye.